the live trading call, uh, I'd strongly recommend reviewing that as well. And obviously, if you didn't get to catch the call, we do have the review posted in the trading uh, chat in the LCMS Traders Club within the private forum. So look, just looking on the H4 here, we have interacted with the near 9350 resistance level. This was discussed as well last night. There were trade ideas as well shared. And we've pulled back a little bit. It's definitely an interesting point now, just in the Australian market uh, this morning, from my perspective, the ASX 200, we're down nearly 1%. And it's, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens tonight. So we've got a context here of what the price action is doing. You know, recently, it, it has been uptrending as well, once we had that pullback back down to the 93 level. So what I'll do now, guys, How's my internet as well? Am I having some technical issues? Or I'm just seeing some. Okay. I think or okay. All right. That's good. I think it's me. Sorry. Okay. No, that's okay. I thought, okay. I just wanted to, I just had a feeling. I'm like, oh dear. Okay. So we'll go to the calendar now, guys. Thanks to Forex Trading Asia. And just a quick review from last night as well. So we, we did have uh, some US news out. We had the durable goods orders. That actually came in and beat expectations by quite a bit. Core durable goods were down, or core durable goods orders for the month on month for August was down a little. And then we had, you know, frankly, the FOMC members have been speaking in that, you know, they're trying to obviously contain things as much as possible with concerns in the market. What will be interesting for later today, now this is in GMT plus eight time zone, is Fed Chair Powell is testifying. And we also have the CB consumer confidence as well. Now, what I'd like to do as well will be, I just want to, I've got a data point here that I'd like to refer to. So what I will do is we'll go to the YouTube channel. And then I want to bring this up. So what I found is I just want to update everyone on, I showed this the other week for the 14th, and this is the DXY uh, commodities trading report. So I'll bring this up now. Just want to make sure to zoom in a little as well. And then I am sharing that as well. So I've got that. Let's bring this up now. There it is. All right. So this is the USD speculative positioning. So I'll zoom in a little bit more now. And as you can see, we've got it reported up to, this is up to the 21st of September. So this is the, the latest information. So as you can see, I went through and I showed the 14th. We are seeing further uh, longs taken and less shorts as well. Or well, shorts are slightly extended, but you can see that, that the US dollar index is shown with that black line there. So we are seeing some more longs going into the US dollar as well. And another point to raise as well is, and I mentioned this uh, with my post in the LCMS Traders Club as well earlier this morning, was that we did see the US 10-year treasury yield increase as well to nearly 1.5%, which just simply means that the market has somewhat concerns in regards to uh, interest rates coming up sooner rather than later. So we did see the equity markets actually, they were neutral. But again, what this is suggesting is to just be cautious as well. We're not, like uh, Jin mentioned last night as well, now is the time really to be a little more conservative with positioning as well in regards to trades that are taken. So again, in conclusion, US dollar, it's got to really break through 93.50 to, to say, it's a strong, you know, risk off sentiment. Until then, we might see it just float around here and it's going to have to be Fed Chair, uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell. He'll have to say something quite dramatic. If not, we could see this turn over a little bit. But for now, it's stable and it's holding up. So just be cautious with taking trades with that in the back of your mind, guys.